How's it going everybody? Hades here and we're back with more Kenshi. I don't know why these guys haven't left yet. They've been here for like hours. Just real quick, I saw another base layout and they actually had something similar to what I have except they had two gates. Can I have two gates? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, it's, I guess it's just gonna keep spazzing out on me. What the, that's not even where I put you. What the hell? That just flat out looks like it wouldn't work. This is not doing what I want it to do at all. Come on, man, what the hell? You know what, forget it, it's fine. Let's go ahead and build another building just for the production of a sheesh. I'm really liking this leather tanning animation. That is pretty cool. Leonardo here is gonna be our main crafter, our main armor crafter, I should say. So I have him tanning leather, technically, I guess he's tanning animal hides to turn into leather. Now, I didn't know these beak things would actually try to break down my gate, but they are. You know, I just realized they haven't begun production of these crossbows on these walls because they probably can't get to them. All right, he got one of them. That is good shooting. Threat neutralized. Good job, guys. So apparently my guys can't get up on this wall. We can either tear down the wall and try rebuilding it in a place to where it won't block us from getting up on it, or we could just build a ramp. This hemp processor needs copper alloy plates and electrical components. We don't have either of those uh, resources. I guess we're going to have to send somebody into town to pick those up. So this guy doesn't have any copper alloy plates for sale, but he does have electrical components. We'll buy one of those. And holy crap, I forgot we're out of money. We've got dust bandit demands heading straight for us. But you know what? When they get here, we'll be ready for them. There's only about 10 of them, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Maybe ideally my archers or my crossbowmen can take them out before they even reach the gate. My guys should fired yes they're firing at them excellent come on come on can we at least get one of them before they breach the gate that would be really nice the gate's barely holding out it's about to go yep it's going oh we got one of them i didn't notice that we got one of them that's good dust bandits are now hostile towards you really that is very not surprising like at all who the hell invited these hungry bandits are you kidding me bandit demands against your outpost has been defeated great all in all good experience for me thank you guys i really don't mind these things attacking me at this point these big things because that's just more meat for me now that we can actually deal with them in a really good and effective way for the longest time we've only been using this one sleeping bag in this one building i think it's about time we built some beds hopefully we have that uh researched yes we do four fabrics that's outrageous how's our fabric production even going okay boxes is hard at work that's good how's our storage coming 39 okay we have some stored up we can definitely build some beds i suppose i'll just use this l-shaped building for a barrack or a barracks maybe now my guys won't be constantly walking around with like half HP to like every limb on their body. Off in the distance, a lost robot spider. Now I'm not sure, but that thing might have copper alloy plates. Probably not, but it won't hurt to check. Poor thing, it died midair. A broken AI core, that's interesting. Some uh, electrical components and some iron plates. Leonardo's armor smithing is coming along quite nicely. I'm always forgetting about Dennis here. He keeps falling unconscious since he's starving. Well, this is fun, everybody. A bunch of band of bones my favorite they're coming to cleave off our limbs everybody let's get them before they even enter the city that would be great oh we got one of them that's pretty good you know what i don't really care we got we got two of them we got a third everybody that's good there's only like four left so that's pretty good for us wow some blood spiders you don't typically see those out here too often this is why i don't mind when those band of bones attack because i always can get a little bit of extra money Nine thousand cats for all that gear Nine thousand cats that's pretty good now i wonder where we could get some copper alloy plates you know where i actually bet would have them is flats lagoon discovered strange town that's got to be flats lagoon oh a caravan maybe we could trade with them okay nothing to really trade no copper alloy plates oh uh, hell yeah they've got to have a material trader here they have to no copper alloy plates here that sucks man nothing really come on i thought for sure somebody in this place would have copper alloy plates now i'm pretty sure katoon is somewhere in this general area right here i really don't want to head back without that copper discovered morn maybe morn has it okay you know what this place probably definitely doesn't have it all right that was a waste of time off to katoon now this place has got to have some there it is everybody copper alloy plates we'll take the whole lot of them finally it's about time we found some copper alloy plates in this game Be trader has arrived at your outpost excellent hey there townies open the gates they've got elephants for sale i don't know why i said elephants i meant animals you know i think it's about time we got a bone dog let's go ahead and 
and buy this little bone dog right here. Spike. Wait, is Spike a boy's name? What's a girl dog name? Girly. I think that's appropriate. Girly, every what the hell? Oh, it's the water. Okay, it's underwater. And here we go, everybody. Our first hemp processor complete. We can now begin the production of hashish. All right, do they have hashish storages? Is that a thing? Yes, it is a thing. I had no idea it took this much water to make hashish. Okay, we're gonna have to make more wells. Clacker, do you have to get right on top of the thing, like literally? These dust bandits have no idea what they're walking into. But we do, and we're gonna mow them down before they can even get inside. There they go. They're already starting to fall. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh man, that is beautiful. We're gonna make another hemp processor just so we can double the production. Oh no, this is horrible. This is, this is horrible. This is bad. Okay, we're gonna have to make this really fast. Grab all the hashish we currently have. Dismantle that. We're all gonna try to escape out the back. Oh crap, what are they doing? Oh, you know what? They're going through this entrance right here that I just made. This is not good. Bandit raid against your outpost has ended. Is that it? Is that really it for once? Oh my gosh. Leonardo is still slaving away making that leather for us. His uh, armor smithing's currently at 52, so that is pretty good. Apparently, we ran out of food a little bit ago because my people are now hungry, so that's great. Now, I'm not sure how much 42 Ashish will get us, or we're gonna go to the Great Desert and try to sell it in one of the cities and hopefully it'll give us a decent markup and a decent amount of cats we have arrived at the city of oh crap maybe this guy can be bribed um i totally forgot about that bribe him looks over their shoulder then looks at you with hesitation go on you know you want it Yes! All right, thank God. Whew, that was a close one. All right, let's see if we can sell some of this. Look at that, 653% markup value. That is awesome. But the only problem is this guy only has 24,000 cats. All right, so I took about 11 of those. But you know what? We're up 27,000 cats. That's pretty decent. Now, I know there's a mod out there that can increase the amount of cats a vendor has. I might download that. All right, guys, so I'm just now loading back into the game. I checked the Steam Workshop, you know, the Kenshi Workshop and I just explored around and I looked at some various, you know, economy enhancing mods and I just decided it wasn't for me, at least not for this playthrough, but I did decide to go ahead and download the multiracial bandit mod. So from this point forward, we should see bandit groups, you know, dust bandits, hungry bandits with more than one race, which, you know, it was typically humans. All right, well, it's off to the next city for us. I'm honestly just hoping to get attacked by bandits. I want to see what the squads are made of. It'll be an easy way to recruit some hivers, that's for sure. Leonardo why aren't you crafting more leather? Are we full? Is the storage full? Yes, leather is at 100% capacity. Now this is a strange sight. These people have different colored shirts. I'm not sure what mod did that. That is interesting. I'm certainly seeing a bunch of hivers in here. That's interesting. That's really cool. These hungry bandits are very diverse actually. We got one shek, two shek. We got a southern hiver. Wow, that's crazy. And like two hives, two humans. That's like equally diverse all across the board. Very nice. Very nice. Is there a thieves tower? in here it doesn't look like it okay this place is a strikeout we'll go to show oh crap we're under attack bunch of hungry bandits are there any hivers okay i see one hiver there's one hiver that only looks like there's one hiver well you know what that's one potential recruit right there and it's very fitting that it's actually the first enemy to go down okay we gotta get this guy back to health i'm sure he's probably very injured oh my god he's dying don't worry buddy we'll save you we'll give you a second chance at life oh crap where'd he go now i'm pretty sure there's gotta be yeah, Yes, there is a thieves tower here. Good. All right, 25,000 cats. That's excellent. Let's sell as much as we can. Okay. We're now at 48,000 cats, almost 50,000 cats. That's pretty decent. Let's buy some food while we're here. Let's just clear this place out. Everyone back at home is start. I can't afford that. Oh my God. I just went through all my cats. How much does food cost in this game? I literally just spent 50,000 cats on food. Wow. Okay. I'm back to nothing. That's great. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Well, I was hoping Clacker would come back super rich but instead he's coming back with a backpack full of food to a starving city. So you know what? I'd say all in all, not that bad. If food is going to be this expensive, we really need to start producing our own. Leonardo has reached 60 in armor smithing, so I believe it's either going to be standard grade or high grade. Ooh, we're under attack. Well, this was very sneaky on these people's parts. We left our gate wide open, I'm pretty sure, and nobody was manning any crossbows. Okay, can Clacker go on like sneak mode mid-battle? That would be great. 
if he could. Just so we can knock these people out and make it easier for us. Okay, well this is the fun part. Now we get to scavenge the battlefield looking for hivers. There's gotta be one. Come on, there has to be one. Well, it looks like I found one. Unfortunately, it only looks like one. Well, crap, it looks like we might have even more company. Gosh dang it, can we get people on the walls, please? Ah, the door's not gonna hold. It's, it's broken. Luckily for us, there wasn't too many. It's not gonna be an issue. Okay, now it's not giving me the option to talk to these guys. Both of them are conscience. Oh, I can talk to them. Meet face. Okay, thank you for that oh crap two hive soldier drones that's excellent to have these guys man the turrets or the uh crossbows we just want to be how did they open the gate the gate still has 19 health did i accidentally open it you know what that's gotta be what happened i told them all to repair it and i must have told them to open it by accident oh crap was that the hiver that was the hiver this hiver is messed up it's about to die we gotta get to it bandit demands against your outpost has been defeated well here we go two more hivers that uh that we can potentially recruit recruit one day. Now, I'm not sure if you have to do this, but we're oh crap, his inventory is full. As I was saying, we're just gonna loot these guys and take everything they got. Filthy, wretched, stick, and sex is what this guy's calling me. I don't know if you've looked in a mirror recently, but you're actually one of us too. All right, let's try talking to uh, one of these guys. P please, I'll do anything. If I let you go, will you join our cause? Really, I'm just so hungry. You'll feed me, right? I mean, you gotta keep me alive. Yeah, sure, we'll feed you. There we go. Wait, no, he didn't join? Crap, I rushed it. I figured he'd join. What do I literally have to have food in my inventory and give it to him? That's the only thing I can think of. Let's just try that. Blah, 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 blah. You probably enjoy tormenting insects as well. Why won't you join? I'm very confused on how this mod works. I don't know why he's not joining me. He has food. I gave him food. I don't know what this guy wants. I really don't. Okay, so I've got this grilled piece of meat now. Maybe now he'll join me. I'm not sure. Oh crap, it actually let him join that time. That is awesome. I guess it has to be the grilled meat. That's the only thing I can think of. I also like how it lets us rename them. That's really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and name this guy. This one is from the Discord, everybody. Romeric, I think. Is that is that what it says? That looks right to me. Welcome to the team, Romeric. Oh crap, we gotta let you out still, don't we? Well, that is so weird. I wonder why it had to be grilled meat. Romeric has been released from prison. There you go. We're gonna make more grilled meat. Let's get those other guys. Let's see if this guy will join. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, leg scrubber. I guess he didn't want to join. Okay, maybe this guy will join us. Yes, he will. Good choice, buddy. Dust bandit, bowman, you will live to see another day. Okay, what do we got here? Sentian, it looks like. Sentian? Sentian. Sentian. Sentian, right? Beautiful. Okay, let's let this guy out. Set free. Sentian, you are free has been released from prison. Okay, so it's gotta be food specific for these guys to actually join, because this guy wants green fruit. Well, that sucks if that's gonna be the case. I think that's the case. Well, next time we're in town, we'll have to buy some steamed vegetables or green fruit or whatever. Is Leonardo still making that leather? Yes, he is. What's his armor smithing? 64, okay, it's getting really up there. Farm trader on the way to your outpost. Excellent. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna save his arrival for the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like, a big thumbs up. That'd really help me out. If you want to stay up to date with all my adventures in Kenshi and want to see more content like it, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments. If you have any tips, I would love to hear them. And lastly, if you haven't joined the Discord, what are you waiting for? What the hell are you waiting Join it. Come on by. See what all the fuss is about. It's a riot. Not really. It's pretty bare bones. It's another way for me to communicate with all you guys. So that's awesome. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching once again. And I will see you next time.